It's Friday, it's August 28th. Hey there, I'm Ashton Altieri. Many of us are excited about the forecast for this weekend, at least for today and tomorrow. Cooler temperatures and look at this, moderate air quality. It's been weeks since we've been able to say that. No pollution advisories in effect due to the wildfire smoke. Visibility will still be poor, but the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment uh, noticed that big drop in the smoke yesterday uh, and has taken down the alerts for now. Temperatures today topping out in the lower 80s, mid 80s for some of us. Regardless, it's going to be 10 to 15 degrees cooler than we have been. We went 17 days in a row with temperatures in the 90s. So this is finally a nice break for us. Tomorrow, similar temperatures will get rid of the 90s even in southern Colorado. I think the entire state will be free of the 90s for Saturday. Bigger picture here, high pressure that's been responsible for all the heat uh, now down here in the Panhandle of Texas and will continue to move away from us. As that happens, this first cold front's going to be able to sweep through today. That's what drops the temperatures. And then we've got another front that will approach late Sunday into Monday. That's an even stronger front. And by the beginning of next week, we're talking the coolest weather since June with highs only in the 70s. In terms of rain chances, I would count on it uh, this evening. Pretty good chance for seeing some showers around here. Some of us will get more rain than others, but many of us will get wet. Most of us, in fact, will get wet. Tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. And then on Sunday, mainly dry and warmer. We could touch 90 degrees again in Denver since we're between fronts. Uh, now that's only for the front range, lower elevations. If you're in the mountains, there'll continue to be a decent chance of rain right on into Sunday, but we'll see that rain chance significantly drop here in the metro area. And then early next week, highs only in the 70s. It's going to be ironically cool for the final day of this August that will likely end up being the hottest August ever recorded in Denver's history.